today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, July 9, 2022, Saturday of the 14th week in Ordinary Time. Personal Reflection How has God called us to bear witness to Him? Do our words, actions, and thoughts serve His purpose? Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video's content. Please share with your friends. Please share on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Telegram groups. If you have any prayer requests, please leave them in the comments section. If this is your first time watching, please subscribe and click the bell icon. Please help us grow our channel by offerings. Thank you. First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 6, verses 1 to 8. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne with the train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. Each of them had six wings. With the two they veiled their faces. With the two they veiled their feet. And with the two they hovered aloft. They cried one to the other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, O oh, is me, I am doomed. For I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an ember that he had taken with the tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, See, now that this has touched your lips. Your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said, send me. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Today's first reading reminds me of a beautiful and meaning song. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will see. I who made the stars of night, I will make the darkness bright. Who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I set? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. I, the Lord of wind and flame, I will tend the poor and lame. I will set a feast for them. My hand will save. Fine spread I will provide. Till their hearts be satisfied. I will give my life to them. Whom shall I set? Here I am, Lord. 
is it i lord i have heard you calling in the night i will go lord if you need me i will hold your people in my heart i will hold your people in my heart response real song your response the lord is king he is robed in majesty the lord is king in splendor robed robed is the lord and girt about with strength your response the lord is king he is robed in majesty and he has made the world firm not to be moved your throne stands firm from of old from everlasting you are o lord your response the lord is king he is robed in majesty your decrees are worthy of trust indeed holiness befits your house o lord for length of days your response the lord is king he is robed in majesty the acclamation alleluia alleluia if you are insulted for the name of christ blessed are you for the spirit of god rests upon you alleluia alleluia gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew chapter 10 verses 24 to 33 jesus said to his apostles no disciple is above his master or teacher no slave above his master it is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher for the slave that he become like his master if they have called the master of the house belzebul how much more those of his household therefore do not be afraid of them nothing is concealed that will not be revealed nor secret that will not be known what i say to you in the darkness speak in the light what you hear whispered proclaim on the house tops and do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in jehanna are not two sparrows sold for a small coin yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge even all the hairs of your head are counted so do not be afraid you are worth more than many sparrows everyone who acknowledges me before others i will acknowledge before my heavenly father but whoever denies me before others i will deny before my heavenly father the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ <coughs> today's reflection on the readings we notice three types of vision in today's first reading a vision of god a vision of oneself a vision of duty as we can see the chapters great words are heard and spoken in vision and they contain the prophet's call which sums up the spirit and purpose of the ministry in the words my eyes have seen the king the vision shows us how isaiah became a prophet and it reveals the secret of his strong consistent career with everything going on in the world today we may feel fearful worried 
disturbed or simply unhappy. However, as God instructed Isaiah, we must open our eyes to him, see beyond the chaos, and recognize the Lord's mighty hand at work in all things. Our calling could be as a priest, religious, parents, students, teachers, or in whatever capacity we are called to bear witness to God's power. Lord, help us to be people who pray and do your will honestly. It serves as a constant reminder to us that we can face difficult decisions without fear, trusting in his help and protection. Lord, grant us the grace to believe in you and to hear your voice telling us not to be afraid, my child. Jesus, grant us a living faith so that we can accept your guidance for our life's journey. Prayer. Lord, we thank you for calling us to be missionaries. Lord, we thank you for all missionaries and everything they do to spread your kingdom. Lord, open our hearts, eyes, and ears so that we can have a true encounter with you in which our hearts, eyes, and ears are opened and purified. And we can truly repent and recommit our lives to you in a meaningful and effective way. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.